Hello everyone, welcome to QA Live project day two. So on day one in orientation session we discussed about a to-do list what we will do in this live project. Okay. So we did we discuss in detail what we have to do, how we have to do and all those uh, required information. Okay. Now the as I promised on day two we'll go through the application what we are going to undertake under this QLI project. So uh, as I was mentioning uh, we are going to take a project uh, that that is called Book Smart. Okay. So parallelly uh, already few members are working on it people who are part of JPAG, they are already working on uh, this application. People who are part of Selenium Live project, they are also working on this uh, application. Okay. But uh, why I, I consider this application for this live project is, first thing, uh, in all these uh, project means on, on all these live projects uh, test coverage are not complete okay uh, nobody uh, none team has written a complete test cases for uh, this application so what I want what I expect from this uh, QA live project members uh, please go through the application and I will also walk through application today and uh, we'll start working on uh, like I, as we discussed yesterday but uh, when we'll start writing the scenarios test cases we'll cover every possible scenario that should be our main focus okay and uh, I, I have seen uh, things will be assigned few people will uh, will create two or three uh, scenarios test cases and that that is done no this is not going to be done uh, in especially in this QLI project it was okay with any other project selenium live project QTP live project any other live projects uh, but here we have to make sure that we have complete coverage of each and every functionality in this application Okay, uh, any question before we move further and uh, we go through the application? Okay, I don't see any question. Uh, if anybody wants to speak also, uh, please raise your hand or ping me. I can unmute you. Okay. So feel free to discuss anything if you feel because uh, in sessions I don't see any much questions but offline people will send emails and all but they don't discuss in this live sessions I'm not sure why they uh, they don't ask any question uh, but it is for everyone if you have any question just ask okay don't wait for like next uh, session or you will send offline uh, email and all so that is separate part. Okay, so let's start with uh, this QLI project, and uh, this is the application team. Okay, this is the application, uh, and uh, before login, I can uh, you you have to sign up. Okay, so this. Book Smart application. Uh, it's a online booking system, okay. And a uh, lot of features available here. If you can, if you if you are able to see, it support uh, card payment, SMS, SMS reminder, calendar, okay. So basically, it is application is based on calendar, and uh, you can create your calendar, and you can. Uh, 
uh, get the service you can pay so uh, basically uh, currently this is only for the employers okay so uh, employers can create uh, calendars for the, uh, for them and they, they can get the bookings through that okay so it support uh, online booking system free sms reminder credit card payment a uh, lot of things it supports okay it has pricing details so here uh, you have to sign up first as i said so you can sign up as a company okay to use this application all these uh, different tabs are there features price sign up okay even if you uh, click on this sign up it is the same so this application basically for the uh, not for the customers currently this is only for the uh, organization company and uh, they can create uh, their uh, uh, credentials they can sign up here and uh, they can uh, after sign up they can access calendar okay so i i already have signed up so all the mandatory field you need to provide okay company name email password uh, mobile and address country country is optional so once you provide all the information so you can log in so i have already created okay let me check why it is throwing error so once you create your credentials you can use to log in and once you log in you will be on this uh, calendar page team okay okay so there are few questions let me take before we move further is it company that going that's going to purchase the calendar for the employees or it's the employees who is responsible for pur pur uh, purchasing them so it's a uh, employer who will purchase okay and they can create uh, their calendars and uh, so uh, one thing I'll I'll uh, I'll ask him. Santos from the development team has already uh, covered this thing, but I'm again going over this, so I may miss some points. Okay. So before that, here is that video. It is available to everyone without login. Okay. So I just copied this thing let me put in chat okay so everyone please uh, please go through it this one also okay so uh, santos is a dev manager and he's handling handling all these projects so he has uh, uh, given a complete walkthrough of this application okay how it works what are the functionality it supports so i would ask please go through it and uh, uh, i'll also try to explain as much as possible but uh, the complete information you can get the, from there if i miss uh, some points so you'll be able to get from santos video okay so another question what we should provide for company name anything you can provide right you can provide self in company name that day audio was not so clear okay uh, try to go through it if uh, 
uh, I'll try to uh, cover all, as much as possible because I also uh, know few points in this application. But if you go to Santos videos, uh, he explained in detail. So there was audio disturbance, but uh, I think it was manageable. Okay, so uh, there's a question. Sorry, I haven't attended the first day. Should I need to any the information? Uh, yes, uh, the first day you can watch videos on our website. Okay, let me explain where you can go and watch that video. You can go to Kiwi Online Live Project. Okay. Once you go to itlearn.com, you can go to this and uh, I hope video will be avail uh, available here. So where are those videos? Uh, team, don't worry about the uh, URL. Okay, uh, your ally I'll paste, but that is actually dev environment. And uh, what I want, uh, I'll ask team to move it to test server, and then I'll share the uh, this application URL. Okay, but meanwhile I'll share this. So. Uh, Okay, uh, Hardik. So, what you can do is, uh, I I am not able to find that video right now. But what you can do, it is available on our website. Please go through day one. We discuss in detail what we are going to do in this live project. Okay. So that will give a much better idea what we are going to do in this live project and how we will do. Okay and uh, this this will be the this session mainly will be focused on uh, application overview okay so uh, you can also repeat this video to get the application knowledge because the application knowledge is required for any project so okay let me take first few questions then i'll i'll go through the application what kind of bookings can be done in this system so uh, the best answer, uh, best uh, answer I got is from Santosh's salon. Okay, so uh, salon owners can uh, take this application and they can create their uh, uh, bookings for the customers. Okay, and they can uh, reserve the slots but, uh, based on the uh, customer. Uh, requirement okay okay question from Asa uh, why are the working are so long usually the bookings happened in the eight six nines uh, okay so yeah it's it it shows you in the uh, 24 hour format format and it, it is a it it display you the complete uh, hours from 0 to 24 23 right so it, it shows everything so that we can uh, uh, send a, uh, I'm not sure also uh, very on this uh, so we can check with uh, Santos on this and uh, if it is customer requirement to display like this so that there, there can be various regions if customer asks this way um, so they have to do this right so I will check if it is a customer requirement or uh, or uh, they have to fix this so we can check with them all right team so I don't see any other questions any other question team before we move to uh, application Okay, no. All right, team. So,
So once you open this application, once you log in, the landing page will be calendar. Okay. And uh, by default, week is selected. Okay. So here is the option. You can select day. So particular day will be selected. And you can create your uh, calendar. Another option is a uh, month that you also selected uh, means uh, you have to select month tab and you will be on the this month. Uh, okay. So by default, let's go to uh, a week. There are uh, two arrow buttons through which we can uh, uh, move to week wise. Okay. So all these uh, options are available here uh, in the calendar. So when you want to book any appointment, so for the previous date we cannot book and the time which is already elapsed that you cannot book. So suppose I want to book a, a slot at 9 a.m. on Thursday 26. So I can go and click Okay, so if I double click, it opens one uh, dialog box which says uh, self booking calendar. So uh, here uh, that employer can enter customer name. Okay, and if it doesn't ex uh, exist, you can add from here, add customer for which service. Okay, so suppose I, I get the service uh, customer name, suppose uh, something A, A, B, C. Or if it does not exist, I need to create, but don't go here. Okay, we'll see. So A, B, C exists. No. Yes, A, B, G, A, B, C exists. So this is, uh, I can uh, select customer from here okay and uh, if it doesn't exist you can add customer from here then you can choose service and with in which color you want to display on this calendar so suppose I want in dark blue and start an end date okay so I want to book for uh, slot 9 to 915 and when I uh, once I click book this uh, is created okay for this uh, the event has been created and uh, for the service for the customer ABC and for the service one okay Let me see if anyone has a question on this. Somehow the window pop-ups up with wrong date. It shows November 29th when we clicked on Jan 24th. Is it? Okay. Let me check. Uh, November 29th. Correct. It's showing some... Uh, You are correct, Asha. Uh, some it is showing some uh, incorrect date on the this dialog box. It is showing Tuesday, number twenty-nine. So this is bug actually. So this is how we need to uh, capture all these bugs, whatever in the application. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's go to uh, this is calendar means what uh, I explained to you. So currently it is uh, for the self. I can click on this plus sign and uh, I can add few more calendars for me. 
okay so if i click calendar i can choose price i can choose plan so calendar uh, doesn't come free you need to pay some means employer who are going to create they have to pay some fee for this so if i choose some plan tasking me uh, a secure payment choose a subscription one all these kind of things okay so if if we uh, have to buy another calendar then you have to buy this okay so this way uh, owner or employer can add calendars on their requirement once they created you can view all those things here so I created one for me that is self and uh, if I want to edit I can click here okay and uh, if I want to make it active or inactive I can toggle here right this button so a lot of things we can you can do I will also ask to go and explore this application here is the search functionality you can delete okay on this page this uh, this is so uh, only 10 records based on your requirement you can select from here how much record you want to display so these are some minute details team and we need to verify all these things okay uh, we don't just need to create a calendar and that we are done all these are important functionality okay currently if the data is less in the application we don't see this much uh, we don't uh, need these things but suppose data uh, will be thousand records then you will face issue so this uh, display data this search button all this we need to validate okay I did not get this question uh, deeper the screen you are explaining is not the scene what is your question uh, I did not get is the color for the event based on the any other functionality no uh, you can choose your uh, means in which color you want to uh, create that event on the calendar so it's, it doesn't depend on any other functionality Deepa uh, any question I, I did not get your question sorry for that you can explain uh, can you re uh, write what you want to ask okay I'm still not clear about your question uh, I'm not to see the screen you are what this means okay anyway so uh, why today date, date is not highlighted on this calendar so it's highlighted but it's an, uh, in a different color I think uh, uh, it is very light color that's why it is uh, not highlighted uh, but it is a different color so uh, future dates are purely uh, the background is white for today date it is something uh, something light color is there I don't know and for the uh, previous dates you see uh, these colors for 24 23rd right okay so for what would be any uh, there's a question team for what would be any employer need multiple calendars like multiple locations yeah it could be multiple locations or uh, uh, multiple branches all these things can be done okay okay all right team so this is uh, for the calendar few uh, 
a good question from Vandana. Can we, can I name any few businesses where we can use this application? So uh, any business, uh, this is for a small level businesses team, like uh, uh, service based uh, uh, companies, small level companies, uh, small level uh, uh, shop owners, uh, like uh, beauty parlors. Okay, uh, if I say, or uh, any other service, uh, uh, small level service providers, they can use this. So they can book the uh, slots for the different customers based on their interest. Okay, so this is only for these uh, kind of uh, uh, businesses. Okay, so let's move to uh, uh, customers. So next tab is customers, and if you go to customers, uh, you will see the, all the customer registered with this uh, this business. Okay, so owner has to register their customers, and how they can add? They can click add customers, add customer. Uh, they have to enter a few details here and uh, if they want newsletter or not okay they can toggle this yes and no and once so you provided all these information you can click add customer and it should be added in this uh, in the next row okay so team uh, there are some common functionalities search so in trees all these things uh, we need to ver verify in each case uh, even this previous next okay uh, this sorting uh, sorting things whatever uh, all these uh, please make sure that all these features work uh, perfectly fine when you write test cases you have to include all these things if you want to delete you can click this trash icon okay and if you want to edit you can click here and you can edit all this information okay all right so this is how we add customer next is uh, categories and services okay so employer or owner they can create uh, their uh, categories in which category they provide different different services so I have added one category category one and inside this I can add various services okay so if I uh, let me explain from here if I want to add category you can click add category and you can enter values here once you enter category on that uh, category bar you can either delete or click add service if you click add service you can provide service name description execution time how much time it should take that particular service what will be the price if bat is required or not and uh, here you can select who can perform this service okay so uh, that owner can that can create uh, for the particular calendar okay so team uh, I just remember it it can be uh, for the different employees also like in uh, beauty parlor there will be uh, 10 employees so the owner can create 10 calendars for each employee okay and uh, then those employees can create uh, they can create booking slots for their customers and all so I just uh, got this point as I remove remember from Santosh uh, explanation okay let, let's take a, a crucial question uh, he is asking let's assume uh, that I am the owner of the business and I like to give a separate access to view calendar to my employee how can I do that okay I think I explained the same thing so either we can create a 
uh, separate calendars so if i need to create separate calendars i, I need to buy that calendar from this uh, book smart okay and those calendars will be used by particularly those employees okay so once i'll create this service i can assign this to particular uh, employee name okay and that person can use this service in in his or her cal calendar once i click add so if i require online booking or not i can click yes no and i can add service once i add service it will come like this again uh, you can delete this service or you can edit this service okay based on your uh, requirement all right so this is how we uh, uh, create uh, categories and services any question on this okay no questions uh, so let's move to uh, reports okay so it will generate report as well so it is not implemented yet i guess but uh, it will generate okay so we can choose date uh, to uh, display the report we can print we can download the HTML reports there is setting uh, tab where we can see all this already whatever we discussed we can see here in add calendars we can add calendars what we just uh, saw in services we can add categories and services in products here I can enter uh, means if they have any product okay so they can enter all these details in a similar manner how we add other uh, things so you have to click that plus sign and you can add a product here okay if they have to some products and they have to sell that so to their customers so they can create this product all right so and newsletters i can create different newsletters here okay so to create newsletters i can uh, create title subject and then a, a different information here i can provide okay uh, i can create uh, gift cards and vouchers okay if i want to uh, include some gift cards so i can create here uh, so actually this this was in discussion and uh, uh, Santosh was explaining like if if they want to give some discount or uh, uh, for some loyal customers so they can create gift card and vouchers and they can uh, give to the customer they can utilize while uh, taking service or they can give to other persons as well their uh, relatives are near ones uh, but we suggested to uh, like we have options to create a gift card and uh, we can uh, send it to others like I can create a gift card I can give it to anyone so that is still in discussion but currently it works like this we can create uh, create a gift card here I'll come back to your question uh, Asha and all right so we can create gift card from here and those functionalities uh, will be available search and uh, so display uh, so in trees and search all those things all right now uh, if I go to vouchers I can create vouchers in the same way okay so a uh, few options I'm also not very sure what are number of clips and all so you can go through the Santos video 
and uh, he might have explained all these things. Alright, so uh, this is how we do in uh, settings. We have a help page, we have profile, in ed uh, we can uh, do edit profile from here. Okay, and you can save your uh, profile. We can log out from here. If you want to go to the landing page, you can click book smart. Some, do we have something on uh, footer? We have only one link. So this is the uh, some uh, sort of uh, functionalities this application has. Okay. So I hope uh, you got the idea about the application. So once you start exploring it, you'll get uh, uh, you'll get uh, uh, some clarification. Clarification how this application works, and uh, it will help you to. Uh, write the scenarios, write the test cases. So I'll I'll suggest that uh, please go through this this application and explore as much you, as much possible. Uh, I haven't got the test uh, server URL link. I'll once I get I'll I'll forward to you guys. All right. So questions team. So let me. I like to make a payment. So payment, uh, Kushal, uh, you can uh, pay through card, right? So how customer will pay, that is not defined in this application. But how you can buy, uh, how you can buy from the uh, book smart any new calendar, that is I know. Uh, but I guess from here, uh, let me check if I can pay for this service. Yes, I can pay from here, I guess. See, uh, we can click once I created, uh, I can, this event, I can pay for this service, okay. So, either cash, okay. So, you, if I'm paying through ca cash, I can enter here and I can submit. Either I can pay through credit card, mobile, gift card, vouchers, all those options are available here. So suppose I want to pay $200, let me try to pay. Okay, so it, 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 is, it is paid now. So it's, it, it shows uh, paid in cash. Okay. So this is how we pay. Okay, so people uh, who are uh, already part of JPET and they have explored much more this application compared to me because I, I really, a um, uh, few times I check this application. Okay, so now once you created, so we saw how we can uh, go to particular time slot and we can click, okay, and we can add event and from here also we can add customers. We saw how we can add customers in a diff from different menu. So questions team, because uh, after this class you have to work. Okay. So please ask uh, any question if you have. Okay, Asha, uh, there's a question why is the function uh, function getting duplicated like if you want to add a service you can do it from category service from setting uh, this is not uh, duplicated it is the same uh, uh, form you can say but the, they have provided different links from different like these uh, links are very easy to uh, navigate and they have also provided through settings so only the different links they have provided but form will remain same, okay? There's no duplicate. All right, so 
another question from uh, Rukshana uh, if VAT is included uh, should not there be the percentage also that is how much we okay all right yeah so we can give suggestions to add percentage that is valid uh, point hmm okay Radhika, uh, I'll share that user ID and password. So, see, there is no user ID and password. You have to sign up and you have to use. Okay. I Nobody has to create uh, credentials for you. You just sign up and use this application. And uh, I would suggest to use only Chrome because this works uh, uh, good in Chrome uh, browser. Otherwise, you'll get other uh, kind of errors when you work on Firefox or Internet Explorer. All right, team, so no more questions? OK, I don't see any other question. Uh, I saw most, most of the questions from uh from the people who are already jpac members people who are not from the jpac uh, can can i expect some questions from them if they have any questions related to this application or related to this live project Okay, no questions. This application for the live project. Yes, of course, this application is for the live project. So uh, that's it for today, team. That's what I uh, I ask you to means I told you yesterday that I will go through the application today and uh, which which we are going to take as a application under test so once uh, these uh, two demo sessions were there which was uh, free anybody can attend and uh, uh, from the when the our sessions will start from the next uh, uh, it will be paid so it will be not free for everyone so if you want to join this live project, uh, you can contact to team, ITLN team, okay? You can contact uh, at uh, learn at itlearn.com. Okay, so let's meet in the next session and uh, from there we'll actually will start uh, uh, this live project so before that session what you can expect from my side is I'll create a Google Drive as I explained in the first class I'll share that uh, Google Drive with you guys I'll create a, a contact sheet where you can find your contact uh, uh, your team and your contact details other members as well contact details and uh, then uh, we'll discuss in the, that session how we have to work and uh, from where we should start, right? So uh, before that, for the confirmed participants, I'll send the uh, email what they have to do. They have to first uh, figure out their team and then they have to start uh, uh, working on test plan so I'll I'll share that uh, Google Drive with a few templates of test plan test cases on all those things and then we'll get started okay so thank you everyone thank you for joining this session okay Uh, no, I will not mention which team will do which module. 
each team has to do every and uh, module so each team will work independently okay and they have to do uh, they have to test as a uh, whole application not the uh, some few uh, modules okay thank you everyone thank you for joining this session let's meet uh, in uh, next session and we'll discuss further bye for now team bye